Hey y'all, Erica and Angie with Backyard Shooting. And I've got the Gamo Aero. I know, right? It's not the regular synthetic stock Gamo Aero. It's got a nice, pretty wood stock on it. So I've got the Gamo Aero Classic. This is a 22 caliber PCP from Gamo, of course. And I've never shot it. Absolutely never shot it. It's been sitting in my shop um, for a couple months now. I did unbox it. So if you guys want to watch the unboxing and see what I said about it right out the box, 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 box. <laughs> um, please feel free to go watch it. But these are gonna be my very, very first shots with this gun. And I kind of, I was like looking up what are its favorite pellets and yada, yada, yada to see like if I should, which pellets I should bring out here to pick. But I basically decided that I was going to choose a couple from each different manufacturer that I have available. Um, Predator JSB, JTS, AEA, got some Crossman's, um, Gamo, h and Sport, and I'm just going to shoot them and see how they shoot, like right straight out the gate with absolutely doing nothing to the gun. Just see how they shoot, and then, and then I'm going to follow up after I've put quite a few pellets down the barrel. I'm going to follow up with another test to see if the same pellets shoot similarly as they did straight out the box. So, um, and then, and then I'll clean the barrel and we'll test it again with the same exact pellets. So this is going to be kind of like a three, three video series um, kind of test. I want to see how it does straight out the box with these pellets. And then we're gonna, after I've shot all those, we're gonna run them through again and see if it shoots them any better the second go round. And then after that, I'm gonna clean the barrel and run them through again and see if it shoots them even better then. So let's get started. If you guys are looking for a different platform besides Facebook and all the other social media sites that are already out there, there's this place called Airgun Army. It's airgunarmy.com and it is like social media, but just for air guns, just for air guns. So if you guys are interested in finding out more about that, you guys can have, if you join the officers club, Airgun Army officers club, you can have early access to some of the videos that Rick puts up for GTA and Airgun Web. You can also have um, behind the scenes videos that nobody else gets to see. So go over there and check it out, guys. It is really an awesome platform for us air gunners. I've got my target set up, my camera set up. The only thing I don't have is my mag loaded and I should just go get extra mags because the mag on this is the Gen 1 Gamo Swarm air rifle. All right. Let's shoot the Gamo pellets first since it is a Gamo gun. We'll do that. I got the Gamo Hunters. And those ones are just looking kind of rough. We're going to shoot them anyways. And the Red Fires. Those are already loaded. Come a little closer, you. All right. First step, Gamo Hunters. Oh, guess what? I didn't even sight it in. Duh. I got to sight it in first. All right, red fire is next. I'm gonna go for the center bowl on the top target. Okay, so not great, but like I said, who knows? Maybe and those were low left and I just brought the other pellets up. What was the weight of the other pellets? I have no idea what the weight of those are. It doesn't say on the can. Those are like 15, 4, 3 or something like that. These are 14. They're a little lighter. All right, so now we have the Crossman. These are the Ultra Magnums. Um, I got these not long ago. They're, I guess they're fairly new, but they shoot really nice in a lot of air rifles. I can only shoot through that center bowl since the other ones went really low. We'll see how these ones go. So 
All right, I think that was five. Now, don't, don't, guys, remember, this video is about, it's testing, we're experimenting, we are scientists here. Scientists. <laughs> we want to see. Of course, I know you guys do because I do, so because I do, yeah, anyways, um, want to see how it shoots out the box. Nothing done to it. Run the pellets through it. No pellets shot through it yet. None, except for the ones I just did. Um, so run it through a cycle with all of these pellets one time. See how each of them shoot. After I've run it through one time, I'm going to run it through again and see if I get similar groups, better, worse. Then, then I'm going to clean the barrel and do the same thing. So I think we all need some questions answered, right? So let's answer them. What should I do next? Should I maybe go in alphabetical order? If I did that, I'm already off because AEA would be the first one. So we'll just do that from here on out. Sounds good? Okay, sounds good. I'm actually going to bring it up some guys and shoot another group of the AEAs because that was beautiful. All right. I'm going to shoot another group. I'm going to aim at that same target. Well, actually, let me aim to the left of the little tiny tar targets. I'll wait for the wind to stop, hopefully. Soon. Normally, the fence is a good wind break, but <laughs> I believe that was five. Um, nope, I got one more. Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, it was pretty amazing, guys. So 15.9 AEAs, <laughs> lovely, just lovely. Let's try the 18.3s. Oh, the wind's really picking up. I have no idea where that one went. No idea. Let me shoot the dirt again. It's right there. These ones might not cycle as well. A little high. Oh, I see the other one. Oh, yeah. I think I got one more. I don't think these ones are cycling as well, though. But they shoot great. Absolutely beautifully. So both AEAs shot great. Next up. E, F, G, H, I, J. So H and N Sport goes next. Sometimes I gotta say it out loud, guys. Sometimes. I'm gonna aim for the little circle on the side. Is it a matter of pellets or is it a matter of the barrels getting leaded? It's getting broke in a little bit. It's starting to shoot a little better. I reckon we'll find out when we run all these pellets through a second test. Last one was my fault, but that was that was pretty good, pretty good. All right, so we've got one more on this paper. I could actually use. I could actually do two more. 
if I remember what order and what group is. <laughs> Might have to look at the camera. All right, let's go with the, nope, those are last. JSB would be next because S comes before T. I didn't have to say that out loud that time. We'll go with the 1589s first. All right, let's go with that top. Was that all? No, oh, it says I got one more. Oh, I didn't think I had one more. I thought I counted right. All right, so those were pretty good too. So it seems like they're all getting better and better and better and better. Oops, lost this little fluffy thing. All right, these are the 18s, JSB. Predator, Predator, JSB, 18s. And five. That's pretty good too. Not bad, not bad. JTS dead centers. I got two different kinds. I got dome pellets, take down air gun pellets, and take down wad cutters. Um, I'm gonna try them both. We'll go with the light, the 14.89s first, and then we'll go with the heavier ones. Yeah, I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so those didn't do very well. Now the last ones, the last ones are the 18.1s from JTS. And these ones are really good pellets as well. I think that was a little high. Yeah, these don't cycle as well. A little high. I'm gonna aim a little lower and just put an extra one in a minute. You know what, scratch that. I will choose a different bullseye. I'm gonna shoot the BYS right in the center. shot five. Okay. Let me go grab the target. I'm going to take photos with each pellet so we know which one did what. And then we'll go through it again. So we've already run all these pellets through one time. It's time to go through them a second time and see if we get similar groups. This time I'm going to do it on, I'm going to split them up half and half on two separate targets because <laughs> I was a little bit jumbled up. Um, so I'm gonna spread them out. I've got my six mags loaded already. Five, sorry, five lap mags loaded. So, and I've got it topped off. I'm gonna to take a shot, see where I'm hitting with it because I've adjusted the um, scope a little bit for different pellets, so. And it's a little high, that's fine. And these are the red fires, so center bowl. Yeah, I would say that that's a bit of an improvement. Um, still not great. Why does it say there's... Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember. This was a full mag. Oh, I was like, why does it still say there's four in there? Did I miscount? Because that never happens. All right. So those were similar. Similar. Next up, Crossman Ultra Magnums, 14.3 green, shooting the dirt first. Just about, just about spot on. So, left target. Oh. Oh. 
really, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. It seems to have this very last shot. They're all four right there and it's looking so beautiful. And then the last one, or at least one of them decide to just phew. It's very disappointing. If I'm seeing it right, guys, um, that's gorgeous. All right, so those ones still shot beautifully. Eh, I got a caterpillar with those ones. <laughs> Not terrible. They are all touching, but it's kind of like a a bit of a line there. All right, next up, H&N Sport Barracuda 18s. So that one wanted to prove me wrong with my, the last shot wants to go off. That was the first shot. ahead and just load the mags all at one time. So I've got the Predator JSB Exact Jumbo Diabolo. We never say that, right? We just say Predator JSB 1589s or JSB 1589s. But adding that Predator in there, Predator JSB helps Joe out, I believe. I mean, he told me one time he makes like a nickel every time someone says Predator JSB. So guys, let's make Joe rich. Let's make him rich. <laughs> these are the wad cutters. High expectations for these? Not really. But we'll see what happens because maybe they'll shoot better the second time around. But these were in like the last couple pellets I shot first. So there's already time for the laryl to, the laryl to be bedded. <laughs> the barrel <laughs> to be leaded. <laughs> Is it breaking a little bit? <laughs> so... Oh, what am I doing? We don't want to shoot those. I'm still loading mags. Ugh. I just can't talk and do things at the same time. They say women are supposed to be multitaskers. I think I got skipped on that one. Now I've got my mags loaded. New target. Let's go for the Predator JSB. 15.89 pellets first. Bottom bowl. Here we go. With a high right, I forgot to shoot the dirt first. If this one drops down, we're going to discount that high right one, and I'm going to shoot five more. Five. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm interested to see what the difference is going to be when I clean the barrel and do it all again. Um, it won't be in the same video. That'll be a separate video because that'll be way too long, y'all. Way too long. So this will just show the second group around. Not bad at all. All right, let me check my air. All right, let's do it another one. This is the JTS Dead Center Wad Cutters. Well, we had one crazy, like really, really crazy one decided to just go hang out up top by itself. The rest of them, it wasn't bad. It was definitely better than the first group. <laughs> I 
That was pretty good. Um, let me go grab my targets and take a picture and we're gonna discuss this. We're gonna discuss this for sure. Hey guys, so I got rained out, had to come in the shop and finish this video up. Um, The whole purpose, I know that was a long pause, wasn't it? <laughs> the whole purpose of this video was we've got people um, who believe different things in the air gun industry and basically the shooting industry, not just air guns. Some people like to get the gun and just shoot it like it is out of the box without doing anything to it. Some people think there's a break-in period. Some people think you need to clean the barrel. Really, really good. Everybody has their own little methods of doing things. So figured I'd just test this. This is the Gamo Aero Classic. It's got the nice wood stock. I figured I would test it. So I did not clean the barrel. I did not shoot it at all until this video. And I have several different pellets from Gamo, Crossman, um, AEA, H&N, Predator, JSB. There's your little bed change, Joe. <laughs> and JTS, Dead Centers. So I've got several different pellets. And what I did was I just shot, well, basically six of each, um, of each pellet, a five shot group. One was a cider in the dirt pile, but, um, I did that one run through all the pellets, five shot groups. And then I thought, you know what, let's do it again and see if my grouping gets better with each pellet. And what I found, what I found so far is there might've been minor improvements in some of them, but really not huge improvement. So my next test is going to be, I'm going to clean the barrel. I'm going to clean the barrel and um, then shoot the same exact pellets again and see if that improves my shooting. It's not going to be in this video. So guys, this isn't a, this is how the Gamo Aero Classic does. These are the groups you're going to get no matter what. Don't take this as the final um, pellet group. Some of them were great, so I'm not downing the arrow at all. Some of them were really good groups, but I'm going to see if the group size improve, shrink up a little bit if I clean the barrel. That'll be in another video. So guys, don't be like, oh, those are just horrible groups. I mean, you can if you want to, but it means nothing right now. We still got more testing to do. The testing is not over, so please wait. Please wait. I mean, you guys can please give your opinion on what you think about shooting it out the box, cleaning the barrel. Um, if the gun needs broke in, if you need to shoot 500 pellets before it actually starts, starts not sharts, <laughs> there's that sharts again, sorry, <laughs> before it actually starts shooting well, um, please give your opinion. Let me know what you think and we will find out. We will definitely find out when I clean this barrel and we shoot it again and see if the groups improve then that means, look, the barrel needed cleaned. Um, if they don't improve, if they stay the same, then it really made no difference at all. But that'll be another video. So guys, if you haven't liked, subscribed, hit the bell so you guys can be notified when that video comes out, please do. I'm Aragon Angie with Backyard Shooting. This is the Gamo Aero Classic with a whole bunch of pellets. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See you.